Hello, Diamonds. This is Lakeisha coming to you from Hair Trends for You. And um, we are back for Series 2 on Let's Work It Out. Okay. Who been texting you? What? Who's been texting you? Who been texting me? No. You know it's, <laughs> it's business. Um, her. He can ask me who texting me now, I guess. But that's okay. I'm not I'm not hiding anything. No, she's not we both neither neither one of us hiding anything. Oh. And I guess back to where we left off last time. Last time what did we talk about my sister last time? Was that the point on my sister had called? We did talk about her last time. You, what happened was you called, but you got the answer machine. But where we left off at, uh, we didn't get the return phone call yet. You had talked to her just on the answer machine. Oh yeah, I still hadn't got the return phone call, but that's all right. I'm still waiting. Yes, you for did. Y'all did. Um, about okay. First of all, when she called you back, okay, you had the conversation with her. Mm -hmm. I didn't totally agree with the conversation that he had with her. Um, that didn't, to me, it didn't go too well. Well, he did address the issue. Yeah, well, what I was more trying to do in that conversation, I was being calm, but I was trying to get to a point and address the issue. And the issue was, is that, you know, respect my wife. You know, even if it's calling, even going with Facebook respect my wife. That was that was the issue. But in that same process she was going in other directions with it. Unnecessary directions where she didn't have to go. But uh and then she got to the point where she left this ugly message on Facebook, on the wall of Facebook. Now I was at work at the time and my wife seen it. Mm. And I'll let her tell you what she did. I you, you know she went off on it. So she wrote it back, left, left off. Go ahead, I thought you were going to let me tell you. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, he was at work. Okay, remind you, this was after he spoke with her on the phone and um, told her to respect the fact that we are both on Facebook. She could, you know, say hello or whatever the case may be. So when he went to work, um, she left um, a stupid comment um, on the wall of Facebook, then P him and didn't PM, PM him in private or anything. She said something about, um, um, happy birthday. And then she said, uh, I guess you say hello to her too. Is it? Yeah, she said something, something like, that. like that. And so on and so on. Blah, blah. But the whole point of the matter was it was addressing the fact that she still said, oh, yeah, you still need to come see your mother, okay? So, it boils down to that she feels that I'm keeping him from his uh, mother, okay? So, I politely, of course, I'm not going to act a fool on Facebook, you know? And I'm not going to write on the wall being ignorant like she did. So, I just said, um... 40 year old really act like this you know uh, really you know and I said you know do he look handcuffed tied up he goes where he want to go um yes we discussed you know where each other go but I have told him time and time again to go and visit his mother I don't have to go but he's more than welcome to go. But he works all the time. And she know that. Um, so I put all that in the, you know, on the wall. And I said, you know, just because you're miserable, which she is, don't bring that misery here. You know. And, uh, yeah, what I said? That's what exactly what you said. And, of course, when I got home, she was already upset. So... I got the, yes. Oh yeah. So okay. I got the brunt of it, and then when I found out exactly what happened, I said, I said, oh hell no. I say, you, you know, she wanna be stupid like that, so I politely picked up the phone. 
right there in front of my wife. And this it wasn't it was it was no more nice. It was now it's time to get ignorant. So she left her answer machine came on. So I laid into her on the answer machine. But then I kept calling her. I kept calling her because she already know that I'm upset and I'm mad. So they not going she's not gonna answer the phone. So she planning on thinking that she's gonna wait a couple of weeks. And then okay now he come now he can call me. I said now nah, I ain't forgot about it. I'm waiting for that phone call. As soon as she called back, and I'm still calling. I'm, a, I'm excuse me. I'm gonna lay into that ass some more. Because the first thing you do, you know, I love my wife. You gonna respect me and my wife. You know, if you are gonna respect me, you got to respect my wife. If you're not gonna respect my wife, don't even bother calling. And that's like not even like not even having no respect for him because. She, he just got out through talking to her. And then she gonna get on there and talk stupid. You know, not even say, send a, a PM to him. A personal PM. Right on somebody's wall. Are you serious? You know, grow up. And then what I did was I blocked her. Because I'm not just gonna uh, keep going back and forth. Because um, she's that type of person. She's one of those, you know, internet stalkers. Probably keep on writing you because she can't. Be a woman and pick up the phone and call you. And we we found out some things that I kind of knew that my mom, that my mother, reiterated when because I was so mad I was calling my mom trying to make sure I had the right number to call her. My mom was telling me, "Well, for now, you know, I'm proud of you and Keisha up there. You do not need to let that let that misery come up there. She's acting like that because it's more like she envious, jealous because." You know, you doing things. You know, you and you and Keisha doing things up there. Y'all making yourself work together and she don't have that. So she's envious about that. And you know, I'm like, you know, I don't care. But you know, you still gonna respect my, me and my wife. And yeah. and I forgot. I forgot that um y'all he been in anger man <laughs> and I for, totally forgot. Um yeah. I mean, he was in Houston before he got here. He was in anger management, and when um, he when that happened, um, it was like um, he got to cussing and got to cussing that out and everything like that. And um, you know, I said back, I said, "Dang, I forgot." He was in anger management. <laughs> so that's why he be so um, uh -huh. laid back, you know, a lot or whatever the case may be. Because I have seen him get ignorant before. Um, yeah, I have. Yeah, I have seen him get ignorant. But um, not really. Not really. Not really to that extent. <laughs> Not really to that extent. So, um, but anyway, it was actually uh, to see to see him really so to see him get ignorant like that was a turn on for me. I mean, you know, he wasn't standing there like forced. You know, I don't want him to do nothing to nobody. I wouldn't let that happen anyway because. Like I said, I could take up for myself. And while he was at work, I handled the situation anyway. I asked him, I said, so what do you have to say to what about what what I said to your sister? Well, it didn't bother me. He, he said what you want to say because I still had some stuff to say. To me, she didn't say enough. He thought I was actually nice about it. He said, knowing how I really am, he said I was I was nice about it. So Which I, I just didn't, I'm not going to that ass up for the rest. I'm sorry, put your mind, because I'm still pissed off about that, but I'm, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. But I didn't want to be, I'm not just to scoop to her level and be stupid on no Facebook, but I will tell her what I have to say on, on the phone, but this was on his wall. It was like everybody was saying happy birthday. She's saying all this crazy stuff. I got your back. I'm, you got your, you got his back. What you mean you got his back? I'm with him. I got his back. You ain't got his back. I got his back. Come to Houston where where you know people. We got your back. No. I got his back. Okay. I'm the wife. I got his back. 
I don't know what you think is what you got, but you need to take that gangster ghetto stuff somewhere else. But I got his back though when he comes down to it. I got his back when it even got to you. When it even come to you. But um that is series number two. Everything's on the right track going I mean, yeah, so far. Um, we will be back probably uh probably what? Sunday with the all these questions. Yeah. With the questions that uh, all you diamonds have been emailing about. Um, so thank you, diamonds, for watching, and you have a, a blessed blessed day, a night, blessed night. Bye bye. Bye.